It's the Navy with the world's most enviable base. Alongside the designer hotels, just along from the Opera House and the bridge, Australia's sailors have their own private wharves in the heart of Sydney Harbour. But was such a central base used, abused, for illicit gain? Allegations have emerged over the last few days that Navy personnel have used their unfettered access to Sydney Harbour to smuggle drugs into the heart of this city. Unlike commercial boats and planes, Navy vessels are rarely thoroughly checked by customs and that, it's alleged, has proved temptation too far. After a tip-off, the Navy's Garden Island base was raided earlier this month. A search revealed what the Defence Department describes as substances and other items, going on to say... Investigations remain ongoing and it would be inappropriate for Defence to provide further comment until these investigations are completed. Defence has a zero tolerance policy regarding the use of illicit substances by personnel and it takes these matters very seriously. Newspapers are full of speculation that 17 members of the Navy are being investigated but many more could be involved. That drugs were being sold in Sydney's notorious King's Cross district, a short walk up from the base. That the city's backpackers were the customers of choice for an elaborate drugs ring. It was this area's proximity to the Navy base that, in the post-war years, gave it its party time reputation. In those days, though, servicemen came to buy, not to sell. Andrew Thomas, Al Jazeera, Sydney.